Hey everyone, Mackenzie here. Welcome to the side of the internet where we are choosing to live more intentional lives. If your kitchen cabinets are anything like mine, it's probably hard to put away dishes because quite frankly, we just have too much stuff. Today we're gonna tackle our kitchen mugs. Let's get started. Step one is to gather all of your kitchen mugs. If you have some in the dishwasher, grab those too. I don't just wake up and think, what can I declutter today? Usually it stems from a frustration I have around my house and an urge to make it easier for me to live in. I decided to declutter my mugs because I had had enough of the frustration of moving them around every time I wanted one or needed to put something away. As you can see, I have plenty of coffee mugs, many of which I did not use. Once we've gathered all of our coffee mugs, we need to start deciding what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of. So there's a couple different ways to minimize your coffee mugs. One is a bit more extreme. The first method is to take how many people you have in your household that uh, drink coffee or tea and then multiply it by the number of days that you run your dishwasher. So for us, it's like one to two days. So we have two people in our household, maybe two days. So that means that we need four coffee mugs. I personally will not be doing this method. Now I've also heard um, people will keep like maybe six more in case they have guests over, but they like store them somewhere else and only bring them out when guests are here. We are not gonna do that method because I like more coffee cups than two. Um, they make me happy. So I'm gonna start with the easiest ones for me to get rid of. And those are gonna be the ones that were up in my, um, above my plates, um, because obviously they weren't being used. I do actually wanna keep the white set because it's just really crisp and clean. Um, so I do wanna keep those, but I'm getting rid of all the other ones that were up top. Next method would be to ask yourself these three questions. So do you love the item? Do you use it? And would you buy it again? If you answer no to one of those questions, then it might be time for the item to go. Um, maybe you keep it around for a little bit longer because you do love it, you do use it, but you wouldn't buy it again. Um, maybe just hold on to it for a little longer and see how you feel. And then this one has a chip in it, so I'm gonna toss that. My favorite question of the three I stated earlier is would I buy this item again? If the answer is no, then it's easy for me to let it go. All right, guys, I've decided on which ones to keep. I feel like I still have quite a bit, but there's a few that I just can't really decide if I want to get rid of it or not. Like for one, this Christmas mug, it's my only Christmas mug and it does make me happy. But so I'm going to rotate this and I'm just going to use it throughout the holidays. So these white mugs are going to go up top. I have three mugs that I've actually been holding on to to gift to someone else. That is like this, does this ring look me engaged? I got this from a friend um, and I am now married. So I'm gonna pass this on to another friend when she gets engaged. And then the same with um, these just married mugs. Here are the coffee cups I'm gonna donate. Of course, I'm gonna wrap them up before I give them away. These three I am going to re-gift. This one I'm gonna rotate out, same with the white ones, and then these are what I am keeping. Before putting away the mugs that I have chosen to keep, um, I have decided that it's no better time than now to uh, clean out my cabinets. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Maybe asking, what if you're someone that collects mugs? Say you go on vacation and that's your thing. You like to bring back a mug back home. Still try to wean them down. Ask yourself those three questions. Do you love it? Do you use it? And would you buy it again? If the answer is yes to all three of those questions, do not get rid of your mugs that you love, okay? But I do recommend that um, you maybe have like a rotating system, maybe you twice a year or who knows, maybe you have enough to do it seasonally, so like four times a year, um, that you rotate through your mugs. Plus, they do say that distance makes the heart grow fonder, so it might be kind of fun um, doing so. Um, so then you like, all of a sudden find your mugs that remind you of a special trip and whatnot that you forgot about. So I have been trying to embrace the container method more and more. What this method states is that you only have so much space for certain items. In this case, I only have one cabinet for my mugs and thermoses, and therefore I should not be spreading them to other cabinets or storage. Once the container is full, that is it. If I want a new item and it doesn't fit, another item has to go. Other examples of containers is your closet space or a bookshelf. There's the stigma that we need to go out and buy more storage for our items in order to be organized. This just clutters your home more. If you stick to the container method, your home will always feel under control and manageable. 
Another option to help you get rid of some mugs in your cabinet would be maybe to re-get them. Maybe you really like the mug, but um, it would suit your friend better than it does you. I've seen people um, turn them into like little um, birthday cakes so that you can make like a birthday cake in a mug and put a little candle on it and give it to them for their birthday. That'd be really cute. They're like the perfect size for little herbs or maybe even propagating um, some of your plants. So maybe you're, Maybe you keep your mug, but it's just not stored in your kitchen cabinet. Maybe you use it somewhere else. Another option would be to uh, use it in your bathroom as um, maybe it holds Q-tips or cotton balls or even um, as an organizer in your makeup drawer. So there's plenty of options if you like your mug, but maybe, maybe it's not your favorite and you don't wanna keep it in here. There's other options. Um, you just need to be creative and explore those. Today I started with 35 mugs. 13 of them I am getting rid of right away so they will be donated. Um, three of them are gonna be re-gifted and then one of them, this one, is gonna go with my Valentine decor. Um, I did kind of want to keep it in here but uh, it needs hand washed and I just think that's annoying. It's not practical. So I'm only gonna pull it out when I pull out my Valentine stuff. At the end of all this, I ended up with 19 mugs. I still feel like that's a lot of mugs for just two people, but I'm actually like happy with that and I didn't really wanna get rid of any of the rest. So um, I have my favorite mugs down here below, my husband's and my favorite mugs. I had to share, obviously. And then I have some more mugs up top that I will rotate through. Thanks a bunch for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe so you can get more content like this. Bye friends.